know if you're new i'm elaine make sure you hit the subscribe button below and join my family guys i'm changing it up a little bit i mean not my hair and stuff yet but i got some nails and i'm loving it so your girl is changing up a little bit and um yeah you guys are gonna see a whole bunch of new changes for me and i'm liking these changes so far so stay tuned for a lot of changing videos so for today's video i'm going to be explaining all of my injuries that i've had in my 21 years of life i have i have had many injuries softball when i was young when i was like riding bikes and stuff uh, when I was just being stupid, I uh, wasn't thinking, and I almost cut my thumb off. Let's go ahead and start when I was about, hmm, I want to say seven or eight. So, me and the guys, you guys know I was the only girl here in the neighborhood. I grew up with five guys, and I was the only girl. Um, that day, I think I want to say seven or eight, uh, we were riding bikes. And then you guys know that every time somebody, a group of friends ride bikes, they always want to race. So like we have a really, like not a really big hill, but like we have like a hill going up towards the main street up there. Um, we'll ride down the hill, go super fast to see who would win. So, so it was my turn. Um, I was going against one of the guys and I was pedaling so fast, pedal, 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 pedal. Chain broke, and I didn't have those brakes. Those brakes that you have on the handles, I didn't have those. I had the ones we had to push the pedal backwards, so stop. And since my chain broke, I couldn't stop. And I was going super fast. We were all the way on the top of the hill, all the way down to the alley down here, and I was going super, super fast. I didn't know what to do because I was going fast and I don't have any brake. And then I was like swerving like this, and I was like, oh crap. I'm gonna break a bone or something. Or I'm gonna cut myself up so bad or something. And then I'm going down the street super, super fast. I don't have no brakes. I'm screaming. The guys are back here following me, trying to stop me. And then I let I end up at the alley. I crashed. They have like I crashed my bike. I crashed into a, a you know those those gray bars they have at the freeways for the for the exit those green rails i mean those green rails those gray rails we have one down our, our alley over here and going super fast i crash into that rail so i crash into that rail um good thing i didn't break any bones or anything but i did hurt like my stomach from the handlebars and my chest because when i crashed i like went forward so I, I hurt my stomach my chest and um that was it so that's one my second one i want to i don't remember exactly uh if that was my second one but this one's never gonna leave my mind this was like a really like scary moment my dad got me a big girl bike like a mountain bike so i got one of those um i didn't have an air pump and i don't think my dad didn't have his air compressor at that time and uh, my tires were flat i mean they weren't flat flat they just needed like a teeny bit of teeny bit of air and um so i was like i want to go ride my bike but i'm too lazy to go put air in it or to tell my dad to put air in it somehow and oh we used to take it to this um this little house that was a few not even it's across the big street over here we used to take it there to get my bike filled with air or to fix it and all this stuff so i was like you know what just leave it i'm gonna just ride the bike so i was coming through the side of my house because we have a little gate to go to the back so i took the bike i was riding down the hill on my grass i hit the stairs on our driveway I freaking, when I try to turn to go towards the street, my bike, like it was flat, it like, like jerk. And then I jerked on the stairs, I fell, I slid down the driveway, my skin, my chin was all scratched up. 
up, my cheek was all scratched up, my elbows were all scratched up because I, when I, I fell, because the bike jerked that way, so I fell this way, and then I like I slid like a no uh, slip and slide on the freaking driveway, and I slid. All this right here was all scratched. All of this right here was scratched. My chin right here was scratched. And I think like my cheeks were scratched a little bit or my nose. And then my knees were scratched. Everything was scratched. Even my stomach because I slid like I was on a freaking slip and slide on the freaking driveway. So my driveway was covered in blood and my dad, I started crying. I was like, dad, dad. And then they come outside, they see me landed on the dang driveway, and my skin all covered in blood, my face is bleeding, I think my nose was bleeding as well, and then they lift up my shirt, I got some scratches on my stomach, and um, my knees were covered in blood as well, so this one was mainly scratched more, because I'm, I'm right handed, so I landed more on my right hand. And let me go get my charger because my camera's about to die. Hold up, guys. Hold up. All right, guys. I had to look for an extension cord because my charger to this camera is really short. Okay. So, back to the story. Everything was all scratched up. So, that's the second injury. My third injury, I want to say, was my thumb. This, I think it's this scar. Oh, I cut my finger up here. Scars from. I have no idea. Was it this one? I think it was this one or my middle finger. Um, okay, so I was trying to be mechanic, right? And I flipped the bike over and then I was turning the pedals to see how fast the tire will go. And then I was just having fun. I would stop the tire with my hand and then do it again. And I was just playing. For some reason, I decide to have an idea. It would be so cool if I would stop the chain with my fingers. So I pulled the pedal, I pedaled, make it go super fast. And then I stopped the chain, nothing happened. So I was like, okay, this isn't so bad. I do it again. I stopped the chain, like I think it was like with my two fingers. I cut my freaking thumb. And I think it's this scar right here. There it goes. This scar right here. I think it's that scar. And I stopped the chain. My freaking thumb comes. It gets this cut. I think it's this. I'm not 100% positive because when I stopped it, I think I cut this finger. Because I had like a really deep cut like this on my thumb. So I'm thinking it's my thumb. But I don't think it's a scar. But I did cut my finger in half. My skin was like hanging. It was like if you put it like this, you can see my skin hang. And it was a pretty deep one because it was a chain. They had like sharp chains around the chain. So I grabbed that part and my freaking skin, almost my freaking tip of my finger comes off. So that was the third one. The fourth one, um, I don't think I got hurt anymore as a kid. I probably did, I just don't remember. So, let's fast forward to freshman year. Uh, I was 14. I even have pictures, because my mom always takes pictures. I was playing softball. I think it was during practice. This is my throwing arm, my right arm, I throw. Um, I was trying to throw super far and I don't think I was warmed up fully yet I throw the ball my elbow pops it like just when I threw it it popped and I was like golly this really hurts um it wasn't broken or anything I just like I probably popped the vein and then the pain it was while we were warming up for a softball game I think or the practice before the softball game and I told my dad, like, my elbow really hurts my throwing arm. And it just popped when I threw the ball. So I was just going like this, just, like, trying to see if I'll get it back to normal. Just stretching it out, going like this, all that good stuff. 
the next day, I mean, when I came home, my dad asked me if it was still hurting. I was like, yes, it still hurts. Uh, we went to go get an elbow brace, and then I went. I played softball with the elbow brace. So that's another one. I think it was sophomore year. I have a huge hole in my knee. My left knee. On my right knee, because when I slide, my right knee slides. You know how you slide the four? The ones who play softball, you guys know you slide like a four. Um, I slid, I think this was my sophomore year. I slid a four to third base. Uh, it was during a tournament. I slid, and I guess my knee went too deep into the, to the dirt, maybe? I don't even know how this happened because I wasn't wearing spikes at the at the time. I was wearing uh, rubber cleats, and I don't know how this happened. So I was sliding throughout the whole bases because my coach was giving me the sign to steal, and I was sliding second base again to steal. I was slide third base. Oh wait wait wait! I skipped one freshman year because I remember this coach. He screamed at me so so bad one of the games and that's where I hurt one of my knees so let's go back a year I hurt my knee my knee got stuck I slid into third base and I couldn't get back up I had to I, had to, I was like freaking I wasn't crying but I was like showing my face that I was in pain because my knees I don't know what's up with my knees that when I'll bend it it gets stuck like I, it, it gets stuck. Like I won't be able to move it back to normal, into my normal motion. It would like literally be stuck. Let's like say this is my elbow. I mean, my, I know this is my elbow, duh. Uh, say this is my knee. I'll slide the four, and it's stuck. It's just stuck. So when I move it back, I can feel like my ligaments or my or my my bone or whatever. Like when I move, it's stuck. Like you can feel the pain that it's stuck and I had to like keep moving it more and more and more even though it was so painful I had to move it more and more and then it goes pop so it was like stuck and I was like I gotta I gotta play I want to play I don't want to I don't want to stop playing so I keep moving it more I was crying 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 and then like from right here it like pop so my knee was like literally stuck and that I think it was that game or another game I messed up at a play and the coach really screamed at me. Okay, now let's skip towards uh, sophomore year. This hole in my knee, again, I was sliding into third base. I get up and I have like a pain in my knee, like it burns. So I pull, I pull, I pull down my, my sock and I pull up my pants and I'm bleeding. I have my skin came off. I literally have a hole. Literally have a hole in my knee. I told the coach, time out, time out. I see my knee because it was really burning. I check it and I have a hole. And the coach was like, go get some cream and put a band-aid. So I got the cream, I got the band-aid. I go back into third base and what, while I was getting the band-aid, oh, everybody was like, holy shit, you have a freaking hole. But like, it was literally, I'm not freaking joking, I have a hole. And it was just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. I just put a whole bunch of band-aids on it because I, I love freaking softball, so I want to play. I do not want to stop playing because of this injury. I want to keep playing. This hole, I still have the scar. Let me see. Let's go see my legs. Let me see. Ugh. Let's see. You guys see this right here? My legs are ashy as hell. You guys see that? That's the hole. That's what it came up to. This, my legs are ashy as hell. That right there. That's the hole right there. Right? Okay. That was sophomore year. I think sophomore year I got this scar right here too. It looks like a burn mark, but it's not actually a burn mark. Um, where did I get this? I think it was practice 
in the gym. I think I fell or it was during practice on the field and we were sliding head first and I slid and there was like some rocks and uh, I got a uh, cut right here. I have a picture, I'll probably put it up on the screen right here. You guys, I'm gonna zoom into it and you guys can see that I have like a cut right here. And I think it was because we were sliding head first and there was a little bit of rocks and I cut myself right there. So, next was junior year. I believe it was junior year. I was a runner, so I was running bases. I was like, you know what? I'm starting to like running, so I'm just gonna run the bases. So, I think we were, the pitchers were practicing something or like the catchers were practicing throwing a second and I'm a runner. I, I think it was. But I was a runner. I was running so much because I, I was like, I'm, a, I'm fine, I'll run. And then, or we were taking turns and I was running. We were running for a while and then my groin, the, I'm gonna put a picture right here as well. Not me, but a picture of the muscle. Um, it was my groin from, it's the top of my thigh and my and between the top of my thigh and my pelvis. So that muscle like popped and when I got up, I couldn't walk. So I was like literally sucking it up, limping a little bit and I was still running. I was still running bases. And I was like, when I slid and I, I couldn't get back up, I told the coach, I was like, my leg really hurts. And then I was limping. She was like, go to the trainer, because the trainer stays there until all the practices are done. Um, I go to the trainer. I was like, my, the top of my thigh really hurts. So he made me lay down. Try, told me to try to lift up my leg. I couldn't because this muscle up here helps you pick up your leg, I guess. And I couldn't. Um, he told me to bend my leg and he pushed it down and he told me to try to pick it up. I couldn't. So he told me that I strained my groin. So I couldn't play softball. Wait. No, that was my senior year. That was my senior year when I hurt my groin. In junior year, I hurt my hamstring. There you go. That's the one I was trying to talk about. I hurt my hamstring on the back of me. I'm going to show that one right here. My hamstring. Um, the back of your, of your thigh, that muscle is your hamstring. I was also running, and I heard it pulled. I pulled it, and um, it just pulled. So I didn't go to the trainer, I just sucked it up and I just did like a, a workout like at home cause I told my dad like my hamstring really hurts and he just stretched me out. And then I told the coach and I was one of her, I will say best players, but everybody on the team was a great player, but she considered me a third baseman, the catcher, um, one of the outfielders, like her best players, and she didn't want us to get hurt. Um, and uh, she was like, okay, you're not playing. Um, I think I missed a game and some practices. So, junior year, I hurt my hamstring. Senior year, where I hurt my groin, and that one got me so pissed off because it's my last year of softball. I'm saying, this injury is really gonna stop me from playing my last year of softball. And good thing it was like before regular games or just like practice games. And I go, I, I was at the trainer. Okay, you can't play. You strained your groin. You can't walk. I'm putting you on crutches. I was like, oh my gosh. <coughs> I was like, are you serious? You can't walk. You can't put no pressure on your groin. You can't lift up your leg. You can't do nothing. I was like, oh no. I'm literally not gonna play my last year of softball. I go back to the field and everybody's like, what the hell? What, what, what the, you know? And then the coach was like, what happened? I was like, the trainer said, I strained my groin. So I'm not able to, play, I'm not able to practice.
practice, the trainer comes like five minutes after I got to the park and he talks to the coach and I'm not, able to, I'm not allowed to practice, I'm not allowed to play any practice games that we had against other, t other schools, not allowed to play. Like what? What am I gonna do? No softball, nothing. And like no. So during your athletic period, um, instead of going to athletics, you're going to my my office, the training room. Cause you're gonna do start doing bikes. You're gonna start stretching it out. You're gonna start, you know, just stretch it out. So senior year, I hurt my groin. Um, where's time of my senior year was that I hurt my groin. I was literally in crutches. I'm gonna put a picture right here. I was in crutches and I was just like really mad. So let's fast forward to my shoulder. This I hurt my shoulder so bad. Uh, I, had went to, I went to the hospital. I was in a sling. Um, it was 2000. 16, no, yeah, 2016, my nephew's first birthday, no, no, his second birthday, yeah, 2017, my nephew's second birthday, um, me and my other older nephew, my sister-in-law's son, my brother's stepson, uh, him and his cousin wanted to play football, and he knows that I'm an, like an athlete, I play sports, so they are inviting me to play. I was like, sure, let's, why not? I mean, I like to play sports, so let's play. We are playing two-hand touch, and it was me and my nephew against his cousins, and then, oh my gosh, I cried for almost six to seven hours after the incident. So we are playing, my nephew, he's like way in front, I'm all the way in the back just in case, like, they pass him, I'll be in the back. And one of the guys has the football running super fast. I'm all the way in the back. I'm running super, super fast so he wouldn't score. My nephew, I'm paying attention to the other kid that has the ball going towards them. My nephew comes from right here, comes this way, uh, full speed as well. I'm going super fast. I'm going fuller than full speed. And um, I come. My nephew just pops up in front of me because I'm paying attention to the kid. He pops up in front of me. I hit him and you can just hear like it freaking like broke. Like it sounded like it broke. Like it just like it like it broke. And I was like, holy sh holy like I'm 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 mad. Like this really hurts. So I just go like this and I think I made it worse. I'm just going like this. I'm like trying to make it like go back and back to normal which it wasn't um I actually pushed my nephew towards the grass <clears throat> and they were like dang blah, blah, blah. I was like I'm going full speed trying to get him and he just come out of nowhere I'm like and I'm thinking in my head it's not his fault it's an accident we're playing football and then I'm like really focused on this kid has the ball and then he just comes out of nowhere like it's not his fault he's also trying to get the kid so I hit him my elbow just goes I'm like, holy crap. I'm going like this, I'm going like this. So, and then I go, I walk around and my mom sees me and she goes, are you okay? I'm like, I can't, I can't move my shoulder. I can't, I literally can't, I was stuck like this. I literally can't move my shoulder. And I was just going like this. She was just, just move it, just move it. And I did and I'm literally crying inside. So then, the boys are like, um, let's go play in the street so you can throw it farther. So we'll play like a, what's it called? I forgot the name of the, of the game. But like all three of them are down the street and I'll throw it. Whoever catches it is going to throw it next. So, and then that's how you get your point. But, so I threw it first. And you know how you guys, when you throw, you have to go like this. You have to move this hand to give you the momentum to throw this hand. And when I threw it, oh my gosh, I cried. I was like, no, I gotta go inside. I need, I need to go do something inside. So 
So I go inside. I go upstairs to the girls' room because they have a room at my dad at my dad's house at my brother's house. I lay down. I'm like literally bawling my eyes out. I'm crying and I'm just I'm crying. I go downstairs. I'm like, mom, we have to go. Like we need to leave. I'm bawling my eyes out. And then I go into the other living room. Tell my mom like my shoulder. We have to go. I'm crying. I'm like it really really hurts. And I'm I'm literally I'm bawling my eyes out to her. And she's like, call your dad. Let's go. Cause my dad had a, a I think he was umpiring a game or he was at work. So I call him. I'm like, dad, can can we go? I need to go home. We need. Can you come pick us up? Cause I think at that time I didn't have my car yet. So he comes. I get. I'm literally walking, and it's so painful just to walk. Oh, like my shoulders hurting when I walk. So I get in the van. Every single bump we hit, I it hurts. And then I think we go home. And then he tries to stretch it out. Like, no, don't touch it. It hurt. I can't move it. And then we're like, okay, let's go. We're going to the hospital. And then we go to the hospital. Um, we wait there for a few hours. I'm still crying. Every single bump we hit, I'm crying. And my dad's like, I'm sorry, Mika. I'm sorry. And then. I mean, it's not his fault. I mean, we can't do nothing about the road. But I'm crying every little hit that we get, every little bump. And then we go to the hospital. Um, they told me to take off my shirt. And then I couldn't move this shoulder. I can't move this shoulder. And then they they had to cut it. I was like, can you take it off? I was like, I'll try. I'll take my mom's help me take this one off. And then once I got to this one, I can't move it. I can't move my shoulder. So we're like, okay, we're gonna have to cut it off. The worst thing was, I was wearing a cowboy's shirt. So they had to cut my favorite cowboy shirt just to get my arm off. I mean, just to take the shirt off of my arm. So we go, and then the doctors take me. We take um, X-rays. They come back, and they tell you, they tell me that I have an AC joint separation, something like that. So it's the nerve or the ligament that connects the top of your shoulder to your collarbone. There's like, this is your shoulder, this is your collarbone, and you have like a ligament right here connecting them, and it's separated. So I was a grade one, I think, so it wasn't like a tear or anything where I need surgery. It was just that when your shoulder and your collarbone are stuck like this, mine's like this. So let me get closer. This is your shoulder, this is your collarbone, this is the, in the middle is the ligament or whatever, the muscle or whatever. So you're stuck like this and my shoulder is like this. Literally like that. And I was like, I was still bawling my eyes out. I mean, they gave me some pills like, like ibuprofen or tramadol or whatever it was. Um, they're like, you're gonna have to be in the sling. Oh my gosh, good thing I was already out of high school. I was already off of softball. Good thing I wasn't playing softball because if it was again, I would freaking get pissed off again. So I'm in a sling. I go to physical therapy for about a month and a half. And my shoulder now, the therapist told me that I'm gonna get arthritis. You can still feel my collarbone like popped up. It's, it's like my shoulder and my collarbone is like, like this. So it's like sticking up. You can feel my bone. Like this one, smooth as a whistle. This one, it's all bumpy and gross because this bone right here, your collarbone is, my, my collarbone's like this. So it's like, my shoulder's not fully connected like this. My shoulder is still like this. The therapist said that it's gonna scar in like that and I'm gonna get arthritis. And it still really hurts when I do stuff, like if I lay on it and you can feel it like, when you lay down, you know, you put pressure down. And when I get back up, so I'm pressured down like this when I lay on it. And when I get back up, it just goes like that. And it hurts so bad. And right now, it's hurting. So it still hurts when I do, like, movements. And it's still sore and all that. So those are all of my injuries. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some more injuries. But those are all of my injuries, guys. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry, I just wanted to show you, uh, share my injuries because I've known I had a, a lot of injuries, and just to to share and you guys to know a little bit more about me. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and join the family, guys. We're so close to 400. We're so close to 400 family members. Um, don't forget to hit that bell button and the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload my videos. Again, I'm Elaine, and I'll see you guys later with another video. Later.